Hello everyone, welcome to the lecture of Quality and Reliability Engineering. I am Milan Trivedi, Assistant Professor at LG Institute of Engineering and Technology. Today we are going to discuss about chapter number 5 that is a contemporary trend in which in the earlier class we had already discussed about the concept of the lean manufacturing. Now in today's class we are going to discuss about the agile manufacturing. Okay. So agile manufacturing is basically the term which is applied to an organization that has created the processes, tools and the training enabled to respond quickly to the customer need and the market changes while still controlling the cost and quality. See this has become a prime objective. In today's world what is the scenario? According to the need of the customer the product should be made. right? But the problem is the need of the customer is changing every now and then. The simplest example if I want to give you is about the mobile. Right now if you are purchasing a mobile then from at least day onward you will feel that this is out of technology right so immediately after one month you will feel that we need to take this device instead of this particular device right that sort of thing is coming into your mind so the need of the customer is changing every now and then so according to that we need to have a changes in the industry also so why not to make such a particular process in the industry itself so that it can easily adopt the change which is generated due to the customer need right so that is the basic concept of agile manufacturing so when we discuss about a lean manufacturing it is at the factory or the floor level but this agile manufacturing concept is at the enterprise level right so it is giant change we need to make if we need to go for the agile manufacturing now let us understand the basic fundamental if you want to have this agile manufacturing means as per the need of the customer you need to make some changes in the industry then what you actually need to do right the first thing you, you need to do is about the product design the product design should be a modular modular means the designing a product in a modular fashion that enables them to serve as a platform for fast and easy variation right the design should be such, the product design should be such that if there is some changes we need to make, we can make them in a very easy way. You know, that is the reason most of the product nowadays are made in an assembly form, right? So if something need to be replaced, that can be replaced in a very easy way. That's why we are going for an assembly based design concept. Whatever a product you observe around you most of the product are based on the principle of assembly design that is the reason because that gives a flexibility of uh, changing the product as per the requirement of the customer the second thing we need to use is about the information technology right that's why the it field is booming nowadays because what is actually happening is according to the information coming from the customer we need to have some particular technology through which we can easily make the changes in our particular system right basically uh, we need to have a quick programming based on that we must have some flexibility and a process should be go in a such a way that uh, it is uh, uh, just in line to the need of the customer right so the use of information technology must be there if you need to go for agile manufacturing the third thing that we must have is a corporate partners there should be an alliance between the different different industry because single industry cannot serve multiple purpose let me give you one example you will get the clear idea see zomato is doing partnership with multiple restaurants the reason because the requirement of the different different customer is different or and they are having a requirement of different different foods so all of them will get served if the Zomato is doing partnership with the different different restaurants right so that is the reason of uh, the success of this Zomato or the Swiggy model right the same fundamental applies over here the need of the customer is different you go for the partnership you go for this corporate partners so that you can uh, satisfy the different needs of the customer and the last element is the knowledge culture uh, just have a culture of getting the new information and to process that information you need to have this uh, particular training to the given to the employees right whosoever employee is there must be trained enough so that they can understand the need of the customer and they can adopt accordingly right 
Now coming to the advantages part, if we go for this kind of technology, naturally we will deliver high value to the customer. Secondly, we will be ready for the change. Third thing, we are valuing the human knowledge and skills. Fourthly, we are forming a virtual partnership, right? This, the first three of these are also attributes of lean manufacturing. In lean manufacturing, we already discussed about first three advantage, right? So that advantages are very much similar in agile manufacturing. But along with that, we are forming the partnerships with the different companies as well, right? So that's the uh, other advantage of agile manufacturing. Now let us discuss about the world-class manufacturing. Coming to the world-class manufacturing, it literally means uh, that we need to provide the best, fastest and the low-cost production of a product or a service, right? Most of our companies there, they are actually need to provide the best, fastest and low-cost production service to the customer. If this company are providing either this kind of product or services, then that organization must be saying, must be said that they are having a world-class manufacturing facility, right? So it actually implies the constant improvement of the product process and services which they are giving and they will remain as a market leader, right? If we, they actually opt for this kind of things. Coming to the principal part, in order to have this world-class manufacturing, the, we need to actually implement just-in-time philosophy that we had already discussed we must have the concept of lean manufacturing that has also been discussed because that is discussion about the reduction of the waste. If you are reducing this eight different kind of waste which we had discussed during lean manufacturing, you can achieve this kind of world class manufacturing. You can implement the principle of TQM, total quality management that has been covered during chapter number two. So if we are implementing all the different different philosophies putting together in an organization, then we can achieve this world class manufacturing, then we can become a market leader, right? So basically implementing all the different philosophies, including the implementation of TPM also. Right, that is total preventive maintenance, which can lead to not having any stoppage of production, or there should not be any problem related to the maintenance even while the production has been happening. Right, so if we are focused on all these particular different things, we can get the world class manufacturing facility. Let me give you one clear example of that. You know, the GEO has been launched. Um, at a very later stage but still it is a market leader the reason is this thing only they are believer of giving the services in a very low cost in a very rapid way and there should not be any kind of defect right so all of the those things was focused in a geo model that's why they are become they are a market leader in a telecom technology right now last topic in our today's class is a cost of quality right this cost of quality actually in general concept says that if we are not focused on a, a quality right we need to bear some additional cost that is the basic principle now the reason the quality has gained such prominence is that the organization has gained an understanding of the high cost of poor quality quality affects all the aspects of organization and has dramatic cost implications the most obvious consequence occur when poor quality creates dissatisfied customer and eventually lead to the loss of business also. Now coming to this cost of quality classification, it has been classified under two main categories. That is the cost of good quality and cost of poor quality. Now let us understand that in detail. Cost of good quality, if company want to give the good quality, they need to uh, invent in this two different costs. That is a prevention cost and appraisal cost. Prevention costs are these costs that help company to prevent or minimize the quality issue occurring, right? They are making a good quality. For that, they are just giving some value addition into their product. For that, the cost which has been incurred, that is called as a prevention cost. Second appraisal cost means just to check that thing, we are giving, uh, carrying out some inspection, right? So the cost which is incurred during that inspection is called as a appraisal cost, right? If we are doing this two things in our industry, then that cost is called as a cost of good quality. Now coming to the cost of poor quality, if we are not uh, investing in this two cost, then we need to invest in this cost of poor quality, right? 
when the failure happens. The first classification under cost of work call it is internal failure which says that this include tangible cost. Tangible means something uh, which we can touch and we can, which we can feel right after a company produces a defective or inferior product before shipment right. Uh, they come to know after producing that this product is defective so they cannot send that defective product to the customer. So the loss which is happening at that time it is called as a internal failure cost. The second is the external quality cost. Now this can be a tangible or, or intangible and the, this can be identified after the product has been dispatched right. The customer com complains that the product is defective right but it is coming under warranty part so the company need to either replace that particular product or need to repair that thing. So the cost which is including at that time it is called as a external failure cost right. So quality point of view the cost are been classified in this two main categories and it is again been subdivided into four categories fine. So normally four different kinds of cost are been attached. That's all for today's class. Thanks.